and on along like that. Each time they will preach in the church that assurance of salvation, you don't uh, debate and all that. I said, I know I'm saved. So during this uh, program, I said, Lord, let there be that reassurance in me. And by the special grace of God, the Lord has did it. Amen. Praise the Lord. He has given me his salvation, that helmet. He has given it unto me. Praise the Lord. Secondly, secondly, I'm, I'm being tormented by the spirit of fear, which my husband could testify of. I'm being testified. Do the, medically, the thing started when I gave birth to my first child. So it sounds like they said it is depression. And I was like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not depressed. I'm not, I'm okay. But glory be to God, this evening, through the man of God, our GS, Dr. W.F. Kumi, he, had, he made it very clear. And I re, it was revealed to me, it's a spirit of fear and torment. And by the grace of God, immediately the spirit went out of me. Praise the Lord! I am free. Glory be to the Lord. You are totally free. I am free. We listen to the next testifier. the Lord. The next testifier is Mrs. Daniel Taiwo from Akure. She has been suffering from what we call systemic hypertension for some time now. By the special grace of God, the power of God has touched her. So she's here to give us a testimony. My name is Sister Daniel Taiwo. I'm from Panibi Group of District, Akure Region. I want to really appreciate the name of the Lord because the Lord is good to me. It happens that it all started in 2020, April. I just noticed I was having pain in my chest. And anytime I do any strenuous work, I feel tired easily. Very quickly, I'm tired. So I went for checkup. I noticed I was having hypertension. But I said I'm not taking any drug. I'm too young to start taking drug. But my God is good. I said God is good. I went for rally when we were preparing for this crusade. I went for rally. Throughout the rally, I trekked to Democracy Park. I was not having any pain, no chest pain, no headache. I went, I wanted to confirm it. So I went to the welfare today. Before, I used to measure 160, 170, 180. But today, I measure 170. Praise the Lord! I am free. I am delivered in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is uh, Edit Mercy from Idoani, she has been suffering from a condition called peptic ulcer disease since year 2017. But during this program, the Lord has touched her. She's here to testify to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Edith Mercy Taiwo. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Also, since 2017, I started experiencing some pains. So I was falling sick. Eventually, I discovered it was petic ulcer. So anytime I do strenuous job, I would just go down. I, can't, I was out to stop eating eba. I can't take gari. I can't take semo. I can't take meat. I can't take beans. I was tired that God, what else on earth will I be eating? Because I have bought so many things. 
But on Saturday, the impact day, we have the great, the great gateway to change. So I was at the phone, I was praying, and I was crying. So God, at this very program, I must get my healing. Since Saturday, I've been taking Eba. I took Semo. I took meat. I took beans. No pain. Nothing. I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. You are free. Never to be bound anymore in Jesus' name. Keep on shaking yourself. Your own miracle is here. The next is fire. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is uh, Omolara Igbekele from Irili. Um, she has been suffering from a rash since 2002, a kind of dermatitis. But uh, by the special grace of God, she's here to testify to the glory of God how he received his healing. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. By the grace of God, I'm saved. My name is Samadara Ibekele. I'm from Irele region in London State. This problem happened since 2002. That is the way this thing happens. One woman just came to me. Hug me. I don't know that this thing will affect me. And I just look at it as if there is just ordinary things. I've been using drugs since 2002, but the thing persists. Continue doing me, scratching me. I can't stand for a minute without scratching my body. But to the glory of God, during Calabar Crusades, I got my healing. I remember these songs that I used to sing, Abbasia Yaya. It made me to remember it. Every time I check my body, I remember Abbasia Yaya. So I'm grateful today. Church, praise the Lord! your own testimony is there with you. Get ready, you are going to share your testimony tonight. We are going to go online to listen to other testimonies. Just hold on. Yes, from the social media, we have lots and lots of jubilations online, and we can confirm to you that those big name illnesses, God is taking care of them. And this is coming from YouTube. Tochuku wrote, Thank you, Father, for healing me. Tochuko was suffering from schistosomiasis. Apparently, schistosomiasis is a disease caused by infection from parasitic worms from um, uh, water. But after the prayer of the man of God, Tochuko wrote in that that disease that was caused by infection with freshwater parasitic worm was completely he he was completely healed all the symptoms are gone and now he is free 
mighty, mighty testimonies from YouTube. Jacob Samuel says, Hallelujah. Osteoarthritis and injured vertebral column healed. Glory be to God. And this is Eric from Ghana. Eric wrote, he's been having symptoms of various diseases. He could not even explain what was happening to him. His blood pressure was high. But after the prayer of the man of God, he connected for the program. And he can now testify that all of those symptoms, the blood pressure and everything is gone. Still on YouTube, Victor Peter says, he has done it again in my life. I was having symptoms of malaria and typhoid. After the prayers of the man of God yesterday, all the symptoms gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is from Favor from River State. Favor was having difficulty in breathing. And so the child was taken to the hospital. It was so severe, they were about to inject the child we're talking about here. But right there in the hospital, they connected to the GCK program online. And it was when the man of God was praying. And just after the prayer, according to the testimony we have here, the child went to sleep. And the next morning, every difficulty in breathing disappeared. All the other symptoms the boy was, was showing, everything gone. And we can confirm to you that the boy is healed. Also, from the GS Facebook page, Olusheye Ayodele says, I have been having a partial severe pain. I mean, half of my body is always in pain. The pain was so severe. But I noticed after the prayer of the man of God, I received my healing. I'm and so happy. Yes, happy indeed. And um, before we take you to Abia State for a wonderful testimony of what God has done. This is coming from Senebo Jack from Prochakot here in Nigeria. According to him, for about three years, he's been suffering from pains all over his body, coupled with serious ulcer that he just could not be free from, despite several medications. But he connected to the program on Monday. While the man of God was praying, he laid his hand upon himself, and just after that, according to him, the problem of three years, the pains, the ulcer pains, everything is gone. He feels better, and he is now doing very well. We'll take you now to Abia State for a wonderful testimony. Coming up on your screen now, Abia State. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Egori Huoma. I am from Abia State. One, oh my region, I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord in my life. This problem started in 1994 when I fell down by the side of a road that is slippery. Then the problem started. I broke my my leg. Since that time, uh, if I'm walking. When I'm walking, I'll be falling down. I will walk for a far distance. As God may have it, during the time we have this testimony, this uh, crusade in Jalingo, the Lord touched me. Another problem is that the very leg has been biting me. In the sense that I can't find, I, can't, I don't know what to do. I continue praying. I continue praying, asking God to heal me. Because he said that my body is the temple of the Lord. I said, Lord, how can this thing be in, in the temple of the Lord? It was uh, that thing that I had been suffering for a long time. As the Lord may have it, it was yesterday. Uh, the preaching was going on. The Lord touched me. When the man of God said the last Amen, something fell out of my leg and I was made whole by the special grace of God. I want to thank the Most High God who brought our Father in the Lord to us because of this crusade. 
I am released through his prayer. And he's the one that uh, helping me to run my race successfully. And I thank the Most High God. At the end of the day, I will be coronated by the angels in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, as we celebrate that, we want to take the celebration to uh, Lagos State now and listen to what God has done there through the prayer of the man of God. Lagos State, coming up on your screen now. Praise the Lord. I'm Brother Emmanuel from Ejibo Group. I want to praise the name of the Lord for what he has done for me during the total emancipation crusade at Ikorodu. Um, and on this uh, February this year, February 7th this year, I have an accident that I fell down on a, a motorbike. Then I hit my chest on the ground. You can see my teeth here. Even though my hand, I have a wound on my leg also. So I have a chronic accident. I was treated. Then the doctor asked me to go and do, uh, do a test because I was having a chronic pain on my chest. So I go for the test. I saw that they say, this is what I have. I have a chronic, uh, a, a broken chest that my bone have shifted. I said, what am I going to do? I have no money. So since then, I came back from Ogun State. Then I was still feeling this pain. I felt this pain from that time to the day of that total emancipation crusade. The first week before the crusade, my mother that I'm staying with helped me to mop my chest. But still yet, when I wake up, I see you to feel this pain. This, I had to feel the pain me, totally. This miracle when happened. When I went to uh, yeah. uh, Total Emancipation Crusade, I stayed there on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I was still feeling this pain. But on that Total Emancipation last day, which was Tuesday on the 2nd, you know, the Lord do wonderfully. Pastor was telling us how he, during the preaching that we should not go, that we should stay, we should wait at the crusade ground and we receive our blessing but i was in a haste but after the prayer i just see something from me i feel that something in me that what happened i just see that the heavy load in my chest just came free i said i call my wife that see this is what i see oh i feel free free in my chest but since then after the crusade now, I cannot feel anything. I want to praise the name of the Lord for what the Lord has done in my life. Praise the Lord. We are free, free and free indeed. On the GS Facebook page, Emmanuel from Ghana, he says, My son received this healing yesterday. I, he was seriously sick and was taken to the hospital, but all to no avail. During the program yesterday, we couldn't attend but I stood in for my son, and lo and behold, when I got home, he was the first person to call me and has received his healing. Praise the name of the Lord. We now go back to the moderating pastor. We're listening, uh, we're listening now to the next testifier from the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. I have with me Mrs. Olasheni Bukola from Oka region. She's been suffering from a condition called gingivitis three days before this program. But by the special grace of God, the Lord touched her during this program. She can share her testimony with us. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Ola Sheni Bukola. I'm from Oka region. I want to praise the name of the Lord for what the Lord did for me, for my husband first. During a week before we had the orchestra night, we were preparing for this crusade. And one, one of the uh, brothers that lead the prayer said, we should pray so that anything that will hinder us not to come for this program, that we should pray against it. And that day, I don't even know that it was because of me, he led that prayer and I prayed. When I got home, something happened Sunday to Monday. On the night around... 2.30 in the night, when I just, I just had a sound, I woke up from the bed, and I saw my husband on the floor. When I woke up, I said, ah, what happened? He said, he, he died asked me that he died fall down. Immediately, I just lifted him up. Lifted him up. When I laid him on the bed, he just gave up. 
I was just shouting the blood of Jesus and I worshiped the name of the Lord that brought him back to life. Praise the Lord! And before I came for this program too, I have toothache. It was paining me, but on Saturday it was so severe that I couldn't do anything. I couldn't sing. I cannot play. But I went to the river, but when I came on yesterday, when somebody was just testifying online that he had to eat and said, wow, me that was live in the half hour location, I have to take and it's not gone. I just kill into that faith. When I wake up this morning, I just realized everything is gone. Praise the Lord! You must key in tonight and you get your miracle. You go back home with that miracle in Jesus' name. We listen to the next testifier now. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is Mr. Excellence Nwachiku, also from Ore region. She has been suffering from photophobia for the past 10 years. But tonight, he received his healing. He can share her, his testimony with us. Praise the Lord. My name is Excellent Wajiku. I'm from Ore region. I'm here to testify for what the Lord has done in my life. First of all, for the salvation of my soul. And also, for the past 10 years, I've been... I noticed that anytime I look at bright lights or anything that is bright, some, it will be affecting my eyes. My eyes will be bringing out um, tears. Sometimes, if, if the pain is intense, to be giving me headache and neck pain. But after the prayer of the man of God this night, I noticed that I could look at bright lights and I will not feel the pain again. Praise the Lord. Now, can you look at that light now? Yes. Any pain? No. Okay. Press the Lord. Next testifier. Next testifier. The next testif <coughs> the next testifier is Mrs. Adeyosoye Mukwelola from Ondo here. He has been suffering from a condition called chronic sinusitis for the past one year. Apart from that, he has also been having blurring of vision. But the special grace of God, God has touched her. She's here to share a testimony with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give glory to the Most High God for this great program. For like past 10 years now, I cannot see clearly. I can see but not clearly. As I'm looking at these lights, three days ago I can't do that. There will be pains in the eyes. I can read uh, without pain in my eyes. I'll be having headache. Then the eyes will be paining me. But uh, uh, as I got to this program tonight, I can see clearly without no pain. And I can read without no any problem. Then the second one, before... I cannot sing like five to ten minutes. I'll be having problem with my nose. I won't be able to breathe very well. Uh, before I could not notice anything, I'll see that my nose is blocked. Then the breathing is not coming out very well. But tonight, I thank God there's no blockage again. The nose are clear and there's nothing like uh, not be able to uh, breathe very well again. Then I used to, uh, my, my uh, neck used to, uh, my God used to scratch me. I want to testify for the two before, but I told God that you should perfect everything tonight before I leave the program as Baba is preaching and I receive the healing of that one too. Church, praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. The next testifier is uh, Mrs. Asugua from Oweno. She's been having uh, left hemiplegia. Not only that, she also came with left mass, uh, breast mass. And then she also had urinary incontinence. But to the glory of God, the Lord touched her, and she's here to share her testimony with us. Praise Allah! Hallelujah! Oh, my God! Amen! 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 Naja kono mami ibuna wa. No ruteru mano nya. Ha. Chineke gua no kwara. O kwara mune imaga. Imenye na agban moso. Makiye ne mem. O kwara chineke kwari kem jachareba. Ruta mano nya. Chineke gua mam. O mami yeshi mune eram nema. Make po anume nyike aburu na abu ngba mu na anume nyikote ba mamu nyikore mu nyikote na oga bu moka mamu nyikote re nyiko nombu nyiko ohwa ebo nyiko ha eto nyiko chere zedete nyiko cheko me zedete aburu mu ihe mu ja me anwere onwu na chineke gormo ya ka mjar kuru sana na ha jesus Praise the Lord. Our mommy has spoken Igbo. So for, every, for those of us who cannot understand Igbo, this is the testimony that she has shared that to the glory of God. He said on Saturday, in this global crusade, God really touched her. Uh, formerly, she has partial stroke, but the Almighty God has took the stroke away. And her, and her left breast, she has pain, just like stone or rock in the, in, the, in the breast, that she cannot even bend down. It's difficult for her to bend down, but at the night of that, on Saturday night, she realized that the, the stone in the breast shoot out. Everything just gone. Amen? And not only that, she has uncontrolling uh, uh, urine, yeah, urine that she normally urine on her on her on her body when she start coughing, that cough will continue. People will be running away from her, but as the man of God prayed, everything has gone. Now she said, even if if not because of the power of God, she will not be able to climb this place. Anything step is difficult for her to climb, but now. Look at the way she climbed the step to this place, showing that the Lord has perfected everything. Her body is all right now. She's okay. She cannot praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Tonight is a night of testimonies. You will not go home without sharing your own testimony. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is Peter James God Day from Ipetu, Ijesha. He actually had a condition called urethritis. That is the inflammation of the urethra. And, but during this program, the Lord touched him and he's here to share his testimony with us. Praise the Lord. My name is Peter James Gordy. I'm from Petu Jesha. I have a problem which is called urinitis. The problem started two weeks ago. Whenever I want to urinate, it will be very difficult for me to urinate. But the day before yesterday, when man of God was praying, I was delivered to Taji. Praise the Lord.
praise the Lord. The next testifier is uh, Omenka Geraldine, here from Undo here. She has been suffering from a condition called peptic ulcer disease since the year 2019. During this program, the power of the Lord touched her, and she's here to share her testimony with us. Church pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Omeka Geraldine. I live in Surulere, Ondo State. I have been suffering from this problem since 2019 when I was with my parents at our state, Cross River State. I don't know what I would do to this. Several times I will be rolling myself on the ground, crying, weeping, even to eat. I can't be able to eat. Whenever I just taste food like this, it will zip me from the backbone. I will start to be crying, calling my mommy. Mommy, mommy, I don't know what is happening to me. My mommy will say, ah, you have tired of many, many type of native medicine that they have been doing for me. I don't know. 2020, I now follow my elder brother back to Ondo State. I come here. I will even be feeling the pain. My junior wants to be crying. Uh, sister, sister, what happened to you when we were living together? I will be saying, uh, I don't know if I just eat a little. I will be having stomach pain, even to my chest tight. I don't know what is going on. Last year, I see, I see pass through the pain again, and I went to Sky. I now, I went to hospital. They do me a Sky. They said this ulcer. Uh, I said, God will do everything. Devil have no power. Whatever the devil has said is in vain. This year, I started work. It will not allow me to stay in my place of work. Sometimes they even tell me that I should go back home. I will say that I can't because he's in the hospital. My doctor now said that I should come in the evening time and do sky. And I go there in the evening to the hospital because it's my hospital. And I go there to do the sky. My doctor said it's awesome. I bought some medicine. I bought omeprazole and antacid. Started to be using it, using it. I've been using it like five times. And I said I will stop it. I will not more using this medicine again. I even keep the remaining one inside the house. I forget to bring God it. And now, the third day I came to this program, that was on Saturday. But when Baba wants to end the message, he said we should lay our hand in everywhere that is paining us. And I lay my hand on my tummy like this. I started praying, started praying. When I closed my eyes, I saw something disappear, pass by my right, left hand outside. And I said, I called my, my friend and tell him that the outside that is worrying me before. Before I can press my tummy the way I'm pressing it. If I press it, it will affect my backbone. But I can be able to press my tummy and I can be able to breathe up and down. Before I can do like this, if you can help me to shout the biggest hallelujah unto the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is uh, Mr. Monday Ukusua from Ore. She, he has been, okay, he actually suffered from a condition called right inguina hernia. And uh, the history lasted for about four years. But to the glory of God, during the Bayesa Global Crusade, he received his healing. He's here to share his testimony with us. Children, God please the Lord. I'm here to thank God for goodness God grew for my life. Since 2018, this year is really to disturb me. This year, so it's all as well up. So our daddy, our daddy go, go and do the go, go back to stay in Ibayasa. That's I'm attend Thursday, Friday, Saturday. After the prayer of our daddy, he told, told everybody to lay hand anywhere by painting you, so I lay my hand where you swell up. After the last prayer, everything valid. 
I don't see till now. I don't see anything again. So I thank God. I give the glory to my mighty God. Daddy, thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. We return to the online and they listen to testimonies again. Yes, indeed, we cannot stop celebrating because the triumphant power is indeed at work. And that is why we bring you this from William Noteya from, from Morocco. And um, William is testifying of what God did for him. According to him, he's been suffering from excruciating pain on his right testes. And um, according to him, it causes him so much trouble. But after the prayer of the man of God, of course, he attended the crusade. He discovered that the pain disappeared, and now he is completely healed. And this is coming from Blessing in Senegal. Blessing suf suffered from pneumonia for 11 years. According to her, she could not bathe with normal water. She wears three dresses. She could not wash up with cold water. In fact, so many efforts to medically resolve it. But, but that could not actually bring the problem. Her mom was despair, she was helpless, and she was suffering the pain so much. But then she attended the GCK. And while the prayer of the man of God was on, a case was mentioned. According to her writing, I laid my hands on my body, and the miracle came. After the mention of the final amen, again, something special about that final amen. The following morning, I had a cold bath with no consequences. It is more than I can even explain. I'm as fit as a fiddle now. A level years pneumonia is gone and gone forever. And as we, as we bring you this also from caliber of what God has done right there. My name is Sister Maureen Otang. I'm from, I'm a member in Deeper Life Church, Federal Housing, Cross River State. I'm here to testify the goodness of God. At the year 220, I was vomiting constant blood, blood constantly on, on the month of October, continuously, constantly blood vomiting. After three months, three months after, constantly like that, and I went to the hospital to run the some thesis. They told me that it's chronic ulcer. From that 220 up to this month, this year 222, so at the crusade month of July, during the June edition global crusade, and I received a touch of healing. God healed me. Since from that time up till now, nothing. I have not been vomiting that blood again. I say, may the name of God be glorified. My second testimony, church, praise the Lord. My second testimonies go like this. For the past 24 years, when I got my first child, at the process when I was delivering, there was an error on my bladder. So since from that time, I was urinating, constantly urinating. I cannot associate with people. I cannot go where people sit because of smell, because of that urine. I cannot stand like this. All oh, since from that um, Past 24 years, that 24 years, 1998, all throughout my life with parts, moving with parts, I cannot walk without parts, I cannot go anywhere without parts. In the church, I cannot sit, just moving up and down, moving up and down, uncomfortable. But I'm here to thank God because at July crusade, the edition crusade, a global crusade, that I attended again at the last amen of our Pastor W.F. Kumi. As I said, the last amen, I received my healing. Since from that time, since from that July, that 
crusade up till now. No part. No part. Now I can stand. Now I can stand freely. I can stand. Not even I carry my cloth like this, you will not see anything. I can go and sit down. I can sit in the church. I can sit everywhere, anywhere they call me. So I'm here to tell God to return all the glory back to God in Jesus' name. At this the God of GCK doing wonders. We now go back to the moderating pastor. To God be the glory. Help us to pick it up. the curtain. I want to bless the name of day six, the grand finale. We now go to a session of praise and worship. We start with a prelude, a sister's quartet. I stood in the courtroom, the judge turned my way. Looks like you guilty and what do you say I spoke up your honor I have no defense but that's when mercy won't in mercy won't need and pleaded my case was presented that covered my sins forgiven when mercy was I stood there and wondered how could this be that someone so guilty had just been Chains were broken. Hallelujah. 
I felt born again. The moment when mercy walked in. Oh, oh. mercy walked in and pleaded my case. Come to the stand, God saving grace. The blood was presented. Covered my seat, forgiven when mercy was me. Forgiven when mercy was me. Forgiven when mercy was me. Praise the Lord. That's hallelujah. It's too small for my God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's been wonderful time before the Lord in this great crusade. And the Lord has done marvelous things in our life. And that is why today, being the final day, we are going to show our appreciation to God by worshiping Him and praising his name and you have to understand that today you are going to have special testimony that when you get to your homes you will tell your neighbors see what the lord has done and it shall be so in your life today in jesus name amen, amen. see what the lord has done oh, 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 oh see what the lord has done what we've waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Then we'll see, see what the Lord has done. The Lord has so to us. See what the Lord He has saved. He has delivered, he has liberated. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Let's just have us and sing together. See what the Lord has done. As we are singing it, the Lord is doing great in your life tonight. How excellent is your name, 
Lord, we thank you. Oh. 